Hey guys, Jason for Truck Guys doing some TCD ticker requests. Looking at Tesla shop and DKNG. Tesla, we talked a little bit already in the last follow up video. The big thing we were watching for was a loss of 1531. That didn't happen. So, as far as we are concerned, we just need to remove this and move on. We're going to look for the loss of that hourly trend. We're still expecting at some point some consolidation because our daily time frame, we've got our big volume candlestick. Pretty good volume in today's. But this is still an indecision candlestick. This is the bulls and bears sort of trying to figure out what they're going to do with their life after college. Uh, they have four hour time frame, still looking for consolidation. This is just a brief little hang up. Uh, not really anything substantial yet on the four hour time frame. We've got our hourly levels, but bulls have not really consolidated at all yet. So we're still looking for that four hour time frame and we're looking for the loss of the hourly trend. Have we lost the hourly trend yet? No, we haven't. So far, all we've done is establish another hourly higher low and so far the bulls are looking just fine. If we lose 1594, if we go to the 15 minute time frame, you're going to see that's going to be a loss of a 15 minute level and it will be a 15 minute confirmed downtrend, in which case we're going to come down and probably test the next little guy here at 1567. Hourly time frame, that will be a very, very nice hourly downtrend, and we'd be well on our way to establishing a four hour higher low, very close to our EMA 12. So Tesla on the hourly, still looking good. There's no red flags yet other than today's indecision candlestick and the expectation of consolidation at some point. Let's see what the bulls can do with this. Shop, before we even start, 999 and 90, so we're going to be looking for some sort of slowdown at a thousand. Uh, a high today was a thousand. Okay, so obviously we have some psychological levels to play with. We go to the hourly time frame. Actually, let's start. Let's start on the daily. So on the daily time frame, uh, kind of all over the place. Like we're still technically, technically in an uptrend. We got our weekly uptrend, and we've got a weekly higher lows. So that's good. Eight eighty three eighteen. On the daily time frame, there's that low earnings reaction. Okay, trying to find their bearings in a post earnings uh, environment. A uh, 964.74 so far, and on the daily time frame, that's shaping up a little bit like a bear flag. So if we go to the four hour time frame, we can see how we're sort of fitting that bill. The question is, are we seeing a declining uh, volume? Or is there anything else that's really matching up what we can consider a, a bear flag? And not really. So what we're going to look for. And this is primarily the only thing that I'd be concerned about at this point would be for the development of an hourly trend to carry forward and see if we can find ourselves anything definitive with this little bit of information. I'm going to just disregard this little bit of uh, whatever that after hours data is. And I'm going to remind myself that I'm not too keen on this pattern yet. I'm also going to go ahead and draw in a little pattern like that. Also not too keen on it quite yet. I want to see some more confirmations but we have an hourly resistance bulls need to get over top of that if they're going to have any sort of uh upward mobility we'll call it that uh <laughs> otherwise uh, we're just looking for continuation inside this overall choppy little mess real lack of direction in the short term so far if bulls can step it up uh, on the hourly time frame and get outside of this channel we do have a bit of resistance way up here at uh, 10 it was a 1064 but I'm still I'm, I'm interested and I'm I'm more so interested that one thousand dollar level hasn't really come into play too much on the daily time frame or on the five minute. Well, I guess a bit over here. Interesting. Uh, DKNG. DKNG on the, on the daily time frame. We can go to the weekly. We can see we're still in this nice little uptrend. In fact, I don't know if we are now. We're, well, we have the potential for a little bit of a weekly bull flag, dare I say. Uh, weekly resistance of 38.84. If we go to the daily time frame, we can see that we are in that daily downtrend. Now we've got daily higher lows, and this is the interesting part. Bulls are trying to make a go for that 38.84 level. So we've taken out a lot of our resistance on the daily time frame, and we're heading toward that level. Earnings are when August 14th, so tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if it's pre-market or after hours. But right now, bulls look like they are making a go for 38.84. I hate talking about charts right before earnings because it tends to get pretty skewed pretty quickly rarely stays on track with the chart so uh 3884 is going to be a key level and then 3051 if we break bull we want to take over top of 3084 that'll give us a major change on the daily time frame and a resumption of the daily uptrend in which case we're going to look for resistance at the height of what should be become a bull flag on a bull break 
4479 and if we break fair 2754 that's it for today thank you so much and have a wonderful friday tomorrow